Okay, well, first of all, how do you pronounce your surname? Is it Andre Sukola or? Suchala. Suchala, okay. Correct, yeah. Right, so Andre Suchala. <laughs> First of all, I want to congratulate you and all the team uh, for the award. And I will, uh, well, I want to know what this award mean to ECO. Well, th Raquel, thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks for for having me there, and uh, and thanks again uh, for for the for the congratulations on this award. Um, what it means to ECO, I mean. <sighs> First of all, we're immensely proud and, and happy to be recognized. It, it's a big proof of recognition for us, especially alongside some other top Spanish and European companies for digital disruption. So this was the first kind of like clear impression. I mean, Ercole has been committed to building the future of the SMB phone systems for sales and support teams since 2014. And right now we're feeling with such an award that we are being recognized for having making a difference within this market, the SMB world. And this is something that we can only be proud of. And, and then maybe an, another second aspect, which, is, which I'm seeing from, from this award, it's in some way from who it comes here in Spain, it's kind of a welcome gift in this great community that we see happening in the Spanish, um, in, the, in, in Spain, basically. So we, as you know, we're, we're opening an office in Spain and we're, we're wanting to meet with other people and here being recognized um, with, it, with this award, it's a great opportunity to, to, to in, improve those relationships even more. Right. Yeah, uh, the company is expanding its activity, right? And yeah, you've opened here in, in Madrid, you op you've opened a new office. But what plans do you have in the near future? Yeah, well, um, the the whole goal with Aircall is always to aim, aim for hyper growth. I mean, since the beginning, we were born in 2014, as I was mentioning, and we've always grew like more or less double in size each year. So we're going to continue on this on this path and we're not planning to stop. And we're going to continue to invest in, in many different areas. One of them, of course, is going to be our product. Today, we are the first phone system that is natively integrated with the best CRMs and help desks out there. But if you think of what a company is made of, there are other softwares used by other teams and we want to be integrated across the whole company. So we're going to continue investing on the integrations. This is key for a fund system today within any company to be integrated with all the other software which are used. So that's a key number one, um, I would say, goal for our future growth. Then a second point is more from an organization point of view. We're going to be expanding across Europe. Until maybe last year, we were a very French company which had an office in New York, and we were scaling our the rest of the world from a Paris office. Now this is going to stop. We open a Madrid office to start being much more focused on our Spanish market. We're going to be opening in July a London and a Berlin office to expand even more in Europe. And we're also going to be opening the Sydney office. So this, those are all just next steps in our growth for us to scale not only the product as i was saying but also the teams and having the best talents in each region mm -hmm. great news then <laughs> um what how this pandemic affected you because you're a company that can be uh used actually during the pandemic and very useful though 100 percent. that's a great question and the the reality is that we and I, and I hate saying this, but in a way we benefited from the situation mm -hmm. here. Um, being a digital a cloud phone system, uh, so many companies were still stuck to the office and having their phone put on their desk. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if behind you I'm seeing any of those, but there's yeah. still many companies that were working like this. And so all of a sudden, having companies, not because of the pandemic, but because of the, the fact that they had to work from home, all of a sudden, having the need to still have a reliable phone system, which was going to be still allowing the same capabilities that they had in the office, we were the go-to solution for this. So mm -hmm. this, we've seen this peak right from March last year that lasted more or less until June. And then, of course, I want to say within our own customer base, we had some customers who were in the travel industry, some customers who were in 
in some tough industry which really suffered. And we tried our best here to actually still support those customers. So in a way, we were still affected by the pandemic in a negative way, just because some of our customers were in some tough industries and we had with them to adapt in terms of offering a short-term pricing offer that could support them in this difficult time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Um, I don't know if you had the chance to actually see the event with um, with Made in Madrid. And I want to know your impressions. What, what do you think about it? Well, the, I saw it and it was online. Uh, yeah. So that was my, my, my first impression was, wow, I, I, wish I, would, I wish I was there. Yeah, um, we wish you were here too. <laughs> the, what I felt is, like for me, that was a great sign for the future. I mean, community getting back together because here where we could see, of course, I mean, I, I joined when when it was the presentation phase and we had the speakers on, on stage presenting the different awards. But of course, what I'm sure there was just before this and after this, there was different tables, people speaking to each other, exchanging, sharing knowledge, sharing experiences. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm missing. And that's what I started feeling that was happening again with all those face-to-face -face meetings. And so, um, and so that's that's the energy I had from from this event is how eager I am to go to go back to those as soon as it starts reopening across Europe and and we start having the ability to travel once again. Yeah, well, of course it was in a secure environment, but yeah, it was um, good to that to to see to feel again to have that feeling again with with people interacting and stuff. Um, so thank you very much, Andre, for um, taking this time with us. And again, congratulations on the award. I'm sure that you'll have a lot of um, achievements in the near future. And again, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. And again, congratulations to the other winners also. There are, there are some great companies out there. So uh, so thanks thanks for awarding us and, uh, and looking forward to the next ones uh, and, uh, and to meeting all of you also in Madrid very soon. Of course. Thank you. Thank Have you. a lovely day. Thank you. You too.